All right, everybody. It's Jason 24 CF with EventHubs.com here at Next Level. And last time I did an arcade stick review on a well-known company that produces a lot of arcade sticks. But this time I took it a little bit different. There's one thing that happens with the um, arcade sticks is when people purchase them, they usually customize them themselves. But there's usually so much they could do with the customization. They could either just change the artwork, the buttons, maybe add lights like that. But overall, the stick is still the same stick, and everybody else has the same stick. With this arcade stick here in this company, in Fohammer, they customize the stick from start to finish. Everything is fully customized to your liking. The stick design, the shape, the pattern. I mean, everything is completely designed. So I want to get the top players' opinions on if they would invest in getting a customized stick fully for their needs. I mean, it makes it unique where it's your stick to what you want it to be and how you want it to look and you won't look like every other player that has say a Mac hat stick an 8 arc or a Hori and stuff like that I mean it's fully customizable and I mean the features on the stick are going to be amazing I mean once you hear what the players have to say because I got to test it out for a couple days at home and once I get their opinions on it I'm pretty sure that they're going to enjoy it as much as I did I mean there's so many great features on it and little things that they're going to really like so I mean I hope you like the review and We'll get to Everybody, I'm here with the master modder of New York, Mr. Ben Fong, sir. How are you? Ben is going to explain to us the features that are inside the Faux Hammer stealth stick because I don't know much about the modding stuff and the guys at Faux Hammer are not here to really ex describe it. So, I mean, Ben, can you get into some of the things that are featured inside well, this stick? Uh, I, like this I like this case a lot. Um, this uh, uh, Faux Hammer has uh, done a really nice job on this case. And right now he's using like a PS360 PCB on it. Um, this has the capability of working on uh, PS3, 360, and PS2. And it uses a, uh, a uh, new trick RJ45 head right over here, which, uh, which allows you to, you know, like you, you could uh, switch among uh, other systems when you want. You know, like it's, it's detachable as well. The organization work on it is awesome. Like, you know, he uh, did a lot of like uh, mesh wiring on this. It's really, really neat. Um, on the bottom over here, it has like a carbon fiber uh, back. And it's really clear, and it has this little name on it. I mean, it's really, really nice. Like, the case itself, with the feet, it sits in properly. Like, he made the shape on it, so it doesn't, like, pop out or anything like that. And so, like, this case here is really nice. It feels really comfortable to play on, so... He has uh, definitely did a really good job on it. I mean, uh, how, uh, how much was the thing for? Well, I believe the stick retails for uh, 350 And the thing about it is that, you know, <clears throat> I want to let... Um, the new members of the FGC know, like, there's just not the standard Mac hat sticks. There's, you know... <clears throat> well, you're paying for a custom stick, though. I mean, that, yeah, as for a manufactured stick, that's, everybody has one. But, like, if you're getting a, a, a custom stick, it's one of your own. Right. So. And that's exactly what this review is about because, you know, you could take your Mac hat stick, change a face panel and maybe buttons, and it's not technically really your own because the case and the design is still that of a Mac hat. Where this one here, they completely design it to what from you're need exactly from scratch. This is a wood case. This is not plastic like other sticks are made of plastic. And then this is not the only design case they have. They have multiple case designs. And I mean, for wood, I mean, if you could see these grooves, I mean, this, from what I think, it's like... I it's definitely a, love the shape on Yeah, this, I mean, so that's like a real... A routing job. And then also, if you notice clearly, if you look real closely, there's actually little grooves within here within the stick itself. I mean, so, I mean, very great detail in it. Yeah. And some may say, well, that's a little too much for a stick, but, I mean, the stick is yours. But you're paying what you're paying. Yeah, you're paying for great quality work. I mean, they have their logo on the... Oh, hammer? Yep, and then on the inside, you got silent hit buttons, I'm pretty sure. Uh, mesh uh, ball top. Yeah, you know, this is a... Uh, mesh ball tops are really hard to get nowadays, so... Uh, this is really nice. Like, he, he really went full out on this. If you are going to go full out on a custom stick... You are getting what you pay for. So, you know, like, Faux Hammer did a really, really good job on this. I, de I definitely love the art on it. Like, I definitely love his uh, work on it, for sure. For sure. Like, like he he also hooked up, um, what you call it, like, little uh, ho what, the housing on it, I believe. And, like, with this uh, thing over here, you could latch onto it. There's a, there's a thing called a, a boot, uh, you know, a boot for the, uh, for the cable. And then if you latch onto it, this latches onto it, and it'll never fall out of it. So, so I mean, I like the fact that it's attachable, and it's well presentable. Like when you want to show, you know, show it, off, show it off to your boys and stuff like that. So, and another thing I noticed when I was testing it last night, I really liked that it said caution high voltage, but I wasn't sure. So when I 
plugged it in, that actually lights up inside. So it kind of, yeah, so it kind of gives the impression that you know if you touch it, you will get electrocuted. It it does light up inside. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, so that, that right there is a good feature. I mean, I'll put it in the video so what people could see that it actually lights up. But I mean, it, that does light up, and I mean, it's a beautiful stick. But Ben, thank you for explaining to us, you know, exactly what what's done it in, and I mean, appreciate it. Yes. All right, everybody, I'm here again with Rico and. It seems you're always in my RK stick reviews, but reason for that is I got a couple comments from a couple females saying that they like seeing you in my videos. <coughs> so I'm going to continue on having you on. No, but you're still one of New York's best players, and you know you went from the transition from pads to stick. But again, with this stick, it's not like Mad Cat sticks, Hori sticks, or any other companies where this is fully custom. I mean, can you tell me some of the features you like about this stick? Yeah, I definitely like the silent buttons. I liked how um, uh, the style of it, it looks like kind of alienish. Um, I think it's unique. I think I might like it a bit more than Mad Cat, just for it being very different. Um, also, maybe a bit childish. I like the, can you lift it up a bit at the bottom? The, the, it lights up here at the bottom while you're uh, playing. But uh, for the most part, I'm a big fan of it. I like how uh, it, uh, it registers everything I hits like accurately and... I like it. I I'll, I'll definitely would approve of this stick. Um, also, probably one of the other reasons why I'm in your videos are because I'm a big fan of joysticks, right? <laughs> but uh, no, jokes aside, I definitely do like this. Uh, this stick is full, full hammer. Full, full hammer? Full hammer. Hammer. Oh, yeah, full hammer. Yeah, full hammer. Okay. Yeah, so I, I definitely like it. Um, I, I would recommend it. Because you see, the thing about it is like, these sticks are not sticks that you could just go and say, <clears throat> I want to purchase this stick. This is fully customized. So when you contact the company, you say, like, I want it to look like this. I mean, everything here is... So this, is this is somebody's idea, basically. Yes, this is somebody's idea. Basically, hey, I saw the stick and I said, I love the way this stick looks. Make this stick for me. You know? And initially, the first the design, right here, this little groove, wasn't there. It was more solid on the bottom. So they fixed it up. They changed the design. I mean, everything here is what how I wanted it to look. So, I mean... That's one of the beauties, but but with that comes along the fact that you know it's not this costs more than a standard Mad Cat stick. If someone had pocket money and they decided they wanted to have be be unique in a way, this would be the company to go for. I mean, if you had that money to spend and say design something to your absolute needs, would you do it? Yeah, definitely. I, I definitely would. Um, I like being different, um, so I will definitely make a purchase of this and make my own idea. But for the most part, I do like this. Your idea, it looks very alienish, and I'm a big fan of it. Um, yeah, I, I'll definitely down for this thing, man. Rico, again, appreciate your time, and of course, if I get another RK stick, you will be in it again because I need those female viewers for those clicks. All right. All right. Again, I'm here with CD Junior, who's always seems to be in my RK stick reviews as well. And I mean, like I was talking to the other players again, this stick is fully custom. I mean. You saw it, and the expression I saw in your eyes when you was like, whoa, what, what is it that I'm looking at? I mean, tell me some of the features, you know, you like about this stick. Um, well, first of all, I like how it looks very unique. Like, because you said it's custom made, right? Yeah, so it's ba basically like nobody else in the world has it, you know, which is something good to feel about because everybody, almost almost everybody in tournaments, they use like, you know, the, the, their the usual sticks, you know, Mad Cat sticks or whatever. You know, so that is that is very good. That is custom made. Um, I like how light it is. This is the lightest stick that I that I have ever play on actually. I like the weights. Um, it's five pounds, you say, right? Yeah, it's very light. I like I like I like how it looks. You know, green and black, two of my favorite colors. Um, I like how it's quad modded, PC, Xbox, uh, PS3 and PS2 out of the box, which is which is a really good thing. And another thing is, you don't have to press any buttons. Once you connect it, it automatically recognizes what system it's on and is good to go. Exactly. Yeah, because other sticks, a lot of the sticks that you do a mod that they they don't come modded out of the box. You have, you have to like press the start button or something so let's say it could read what system it is or whatever. Yeah. So that you know that that's a plus. Um, I like how the buttons are on the side, you know, and they're not they're not they're not right here. Because sometimes when you when you put the stick on your lap, like sometimes you press start by mistake. You know, it, it rarely happens, but you know, so it, it does happen sometimes. I like how it lights it lights up, it lights up in the back when you when you when you um when you plug it in. In my opinion, like I actually wanted to invest on my own stick, like my own artwork and stuff. So this is this is actually like if I would do it, I would do it with, with this stick, you know, because again, I like the design, like I like how light it is, and um, you see. 
they fully customize it. So they the case, whatever your idea of a case is, they do it. And then they, they um not just single colors, but they have like glitter colors where I de- also depending where the light hits it, it changes as well. I mean, so however you want your stick to like, whatever your vision is, they will do their best to get it. And I mean, again, it comes with a cost. You know, it's not the same exact price as, you know, say a Mac has stick, 8R stick and stuff. But I mean, you're paying for what you're getting. You're getting top quality. Exactly. It's your stick and your unique stick. If you had the money to invest in designing your own stick with this company, would you do so? To be honest with you, man, I'm thinking about doing it already. <laughs> and I do have the money because, like I said, I do like the design. Again, that's, that's a plus for me, like, when the stick is light. You know, because I really, I really hate going to tournaments and carrying. It looks like I'm carrying rocks in my book bag with the other sticks. But, um, yeah, man, it's something I will definitely invest on. Now, here's another thing. This, this surface right here, what do you think this surface is? It's kind of like plastic. It's wood. Oh, it's wood. It's very hard to tell. And, and with the fact that as it gets you is it's hard, but it's also it's very light. And, I mean, for them to get these grooves in here, I mean, if you look closely, there's also little grooves with inside the stick oh, yeah. itself. So, I mean, excellent work went into here. I mean, CD, I appreciate it. I mean, you've already heard it from a couple players that they would invest into it if they have the money. And, I mean, if you have it and you could have your own custom stick to your needs, this is definitely a company you should look into. Pro players and the great Dominion got the chance to play on it and you know I mean when he looked at it he was like wow that's that's different it caught him by surprise it was kind of unique so I mean Kevin I mean you had the chance to, to play you know I mean what are some of the things that you liked about the stick um the buttons are silent I'm not really a fan of silent buttons but since they're customizable you can do whatever you want with them um the outside design looks great it's just um it might take some getting used to you know everyone's been playing with the Mad Cat type stick for all these years, so the outside design is nice. Um, the material feels well. The stick is fine. You know everything's good with the stick. I like the design as well, so I would give it a passing score. You know. So if if you had a chance and you say, hey, you wanted to design a guy you stick, would it be something that you would invest into, saying you get a customizable stick for yourself? Most likely, yeah. Because yeah, I mean, the stick would be yours. You know, I mean, you could have something where. I guess they could put some LEDs in here, and every time you press it, it'll be like an animation of a sonic boom going across. I mean, anything's possible when it's customizable. So, I mean, absolutely. So, Kevin, you got to run to your game real quick, so go ahead. And he'll be running with this stick as he plays. As I wrap up this review, I want to show you some original pictures that I've seen of the Stealth Arcade Stick from Fohammer, which made me fall in love with it and made me reach out to them and say, guys... I would love to film a review on this stick. I love the work you guys put into your custom sticks. And I mean, you could see it right here. With that being said, I'm going to end off this video showing you a couple angles, showing you the craftsmanship that went into it, the detail. I mean, it's an amazing stick. Ben, CD, Rico, Dominion, they, they all marveled at this RK stick. I mean, they really enjoyed it. They loved it. They love the uniqueness about it, the detail that went into it. And I mean, again, if you guys want to get a custom RK stick, these these are the guys to go reach out to. I'm going to put their description and the link down below of where to reach them, their Facebook, their Twitter, their webpage. And I mean, reach out to these guys. I mean, if you want to be unique, you want to stand out, you want to have your own RK stick that shows who you are and it's an expression of you, these are, these are the guys definitely to reach out to. I mean, Again, look at the craftsmanship that they, they put into this work here. And I mean, again, I thank you for you guys' time. I hope you enjoyed the video. I should be filming some more for you in the future. And again, don't forget to um, follow Event Hubs at eventhubs.com. As well as you can follow me on Twitter at Jason24CF. And again, thank you. Enjoy the rest of the video with the music. We out.